Right now, we are going to bring up the undisputed super welterweight champion of the world. Yes. He has been a professional since he was 17 years of age, getting ready for this up, mega baby. opportunity as he tries to become a two-time undisputed champion of the world. This one at super middleweight, Jermel, this is something that you've always wanted. As you prepare for September 30th, how excited are you to step inside the ring with Canelo Alvarez? I mean, it's, it's exciting. It's super fun. Uh, been doing this my whole life, so now it's time to, you know, put on, put on for my city, put up a shut up, and do what I got to do, you know? It's uh, one of the best fighters in the world. You have to be excited for this moment. Is this the most, I mean, I, I will tell you, it seems like this is the most focused we've ever seen you, the most dialed in we've ever seen you. You keep getting better and, and better, but are you glad you're getting this opportunity now because you guys were scheduled to potentially share the ring in 2014. Now you get it nine years later. Well, you know, when you got the right people operating the system and handling the business on the, uh, on the other end, it always makes it, you know, the right moment. So now is the, it's the right moment. We both um, 33 years old. Uh, we, we had our prime, we had our best, we had our fastest, our strongest. Uh, Canelo's coming to, you know, bounce back from anything that he's, the people are doubting him about. And I come to put on and, 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 and shake the doubters off and prove to the world why I'm um, in this position. It's not just by, by coincidence that I got here and I'm, I made it this far, but um, now it's my turn. It's my, ch my chance to shine. I've been, been doing what we do. For a long time, you know, representing the Charlotte Twins and the Lions only and the whole team, um, you know, and PBC and just been doing what, what I have to do for, for the world. So now it's time to, like, really, 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 you know, show what I've made of, everything that I've done since I was eight years old, when I turned pro in 07, to all of that, all of that, put it on the line now. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, after, you know, all the big fights, um, mm -hmm. you know, Castaño, um, you, you, you had the draw, and then you came back and, and knocked him out in um, and, and this fight. This is the biggest fight mm -hmm. of your career. How focused and how um, Derek James put you in a position to go out there and, and not, put the, not let this fight go to the judges? Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really dialed in as far as, like, uh, my team and the, the, the folks around me. It's not just Austin, Derek James. You know, I got Juan Guzman, who's, you know, works a, a lot on uh, lateral movement feet, and speed and different things. I got uh, Titus Adams, who's an ex-NFL player, and he, he, he worked on a lot about exits, and he was a defensive tackle, so he kind of have a, you know, a different world. We got, uh, I got a doctor on hand um, at all times, and, and Kevin, Eric Hugh, and, and Brent Gilmore, these are like my, my, my guys and my core teammates. So um, I'm just in the ring doing what I have to do and, and listen to Derrick James as the head coach, and we let him be the head coach and, 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 and assist everyone else. I was just um, saying something mm -hmm. a second ago. Um, a kid came up to me um, in McGregor Park, and he said, yeah. I want to be like you one day. And, and, and I said, man, I'm a role model. Mm -hmm. I've watched the growth um, in you over the last five years or so. And, and do, you, do you feel like you're a role model? Yeah, I feel like I'm a, a role model. I have an um, a, a, a amateur team, an amateur crew that you know I support. I go to their fights sometimes. Yeah. And I know I got, I got children myself. So, um, and I've been boxing for a very, really long time. So I'm, I'm pretty much... Um, some fan favorites yeah, and some, yeah. some people's uh, best friend, I guess. Yeah, now we're behind you. Know I mean? you. We're behind yeah, you 100%. Sure. Jermel, do you think that, you know, you walk around and you're a, a massive super welterweight. Do you think that when people are talking about this fight, saying, oh, he's going up to weight classes, I believe they're making too much of the size difference because you're just a naturally big guy. I'm astounded how you've been able to make 154 yeah. throughout the duration of your career. Do you think that people are, are sort of looking at that and saying, all right, well, if you really don't know boxing, then they want to point to that and say, well, the size will be too much of a difference? Well, um, you see how hot it is in Houston right now. <laughs> no, believe me. <laughs> how hot it is in Houston. Right? <laughs> yeah. I haven't even started working out yet, and um, I'm already uh, pointing sweats. but. Um, I made 154 easy. I can still make 154. I can make whatever weight division I have the, the chance to fight in. So um, I don't, I don't, I don't think that we, you know we're gonna be too much focused on or worried about um, having to cut too too much weight or worried about even the fans or what the people that's uh, you know critique boxing, the writers or reporters say about making weight. Making weight is is what you have to do. It's something that we've been having to do for our, our whole career. I've been sparring bigger guys um, for a very long time. Um, and uh, it, now it's just all about, you know, 
bringing that same skill set uh, and the mindset that I have at 54 from speed to power to everything and bringing it up with me at 168. I, I tell you, uh, today you seem like uh, real, real calm, man. Yeah. You seem like you're in your own zone. And I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, do you feel any pressure um, to go out and really, really perform at your highest, highest level at this fight? Uh, uh, for this fight? I, I, think, I think absolutely. I yeah. feel like, a, you know, it's pressure. Of course, it's pressure yeah. on me. It's pressure on my team. I, I think that we have to, you know, be dominant, uh, win this fight, not just off of uh, knockouts or anything like I'm used to, just mm -hmm. but win this for 12 rounds. Beat him for 12 rounds or, yeah. you know, do whatever I can in that ring that, that's going to uh, protect me and leave me vicious and leave me at the, at the best, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I'm calm because I just, you know, I'm, it's no point of being a rascal, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a fighter's dream mm -hmm. to be headlining on a major event that the world's watching in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Your name's everywhere on the Las Vegas Strip. I mean, look at the signage behind you. Yeah. The world will be watching this fight. Uh, how satisfying is it for you to see yourself in lights, on the marquee, sold out crowd, T-Mobile Arena, worldwide audience, Las Vegas. Does it get any better than that as a prize fighter? Nah, man, this is it. And, and it feels good. It's amazing. You know, this is a dream come true. Just like winning Undisputed was a dream come true. Winning the world title, period. Making it out the slumps, making it out the mud. It's a dream come true. So once you get that far and you see so much and you see that yourself, you, you prospering and you making it through, I mean, bring it on. Keep bringing it. I mean, we can't stop God's blessing. So... You know, stay locked in, stay dialed in, stay focused, um, be respectful, and and just handle, handle business, you know? Um, that's why, at the end of the day, I love my twin brother, because we both have this vision. We both have this dream. I love my twin brother for the world that don't really understand. I mean, we beef here and there, but um, if it wasn't for the motivation and inspiration that he gave me younger when I was younger, you know, uh, of wanting to be this or wanting to do this, then he started boxing before me. So, you know, I made it this far. I'm thankful. Well, go ahead, boy. No, go ahead. No, no, I'm, no, I'm going to let him, you know, we're going to go and let yeah. him work out. We're going to yeah, talk yeah, with you afterwards. Yeah, and, you know, we, we don't want to cut into the work and out. stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. What, what do you think? How would you, uh, no, no, how would you compete no, against Booker T and stuff, Jermaine? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even try. All right. We're going to let Jermaine Charlo work out. We got Booker T, the WWE Hall of Famer, the undisputed super welterweight champion of the world, looking to become a two-time undisputed champion of the world. Yeah. Well, Jermel, I know you're getting ready to, you know, you're finishing off your workout, but we will put you in the middle, Booker. You and I will stand over this way. But, but Jermel, I mean, you just seeing you work out, uh, I re truly do believe that you are in such a great place. How excited are you just to get to Las Vegas? Uh, when are you going to get to Vegas is, is my question to you. Hey, it's hot in Texas, and it feels good in Texas. I don't got no distractions. A lot of people, they leave their crib and stuff because they got distractions or they don't got the love that they, I don't know why they leave their crib. That's what they do it for. I'm, I don't understand, but um, I have everything here from, from recovery to everything. So I want to stay in Texas as long as I can. And, um, but, you know, I just finished a cool workout. It was quick. I uh, worked out this morning as well because I usually work out sometimes in the morning. So I worked so you out did a double workout, huh, yeah, today? I have to do that for, you know, for the fans and the showtime and the viewers. But uh, I went easy to right now, a little light. I couldn't show y'all everything. That's not... I can't give out my secrets while y'all over here recording me and stuff, you know? But if that's you going light, that's me going hard like times 10. Well, I mean, you, you're not a boxer. Leave that for that court. So leave it to me. <laughs> in the Canelo's. I, I mean, you're not even breathing hard um, right now. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you're, you're in great shape. Um, have you been doing, like, any extra sparring, you know? Oh, um, man. Oh, carry, you know? A lot. Yeah, like, I've been doing so much sparring. I've been doing so much training, uh, strength training. I've been doing a lot of conditioning. Uh, I've been working on, uh, you know, mental as well. So it's not just uh, all about physical. Uh, I've been uh, preparing myself, you know, the full nine yards around this uh, this process. Uh, I've been possibly training for about 14, 14 weeks, you know, so I've been going for a real long time. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I you know, no, no fight gets made without negotiation. So this fight, of course, had to have some negotiations. We just kept it quiet and did what we did. It's released. It's out here to the public. Now we fighting the best fighter in the world. We from Texas. We from Houston. He from Mexico. Not too far. I know he's hot over there. <laughs> did, you, did you think this fight was going to ever come to fruition? Uh, not, not necessarily, but when I seen that he was making a move to, to PBC, I said, okay, maybe me and my brother, one of us can, can get our hands on Canelo and uh, make a legacy fight, uh, a, a generational, generational wealth type of fight. And so uh, that's definitely what they bring, you know, and I, I deserve it. You know, I, one, I conquered my weight division. Um, and what else there is for me to do other than um, continue to fight challengers? And um, I'm, I got an awesome challenge. So 
right now with Canelo is a, is a massive thing. I was just talking to Ray, and I was mm -hmm. telling Ray, um, he was talking about his fourth championship thing. I said, when you're the best, you know, checks and championships, that's just part of the game, right? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Getting money is a part of uh, why we do this as well. You know, nobody does. We, we prize fighters. Yeah. We definitely in here for, for a reason. We're not, um, and, and, you know, we wanted a highest paid combat sporters in the world. So, and, and we put a lot of work in, a lot of dedication, a lot of determination, family sacrificing. Uh, it's things that we do in boxing that a lot of uh, people on the outside world don't see. They only get to see the big major fights. They don't know the things that we go through as far as injuries, as far as, you know, recovering from those things and just staying stand on it, man. Jermel, have you thought about what your ring walk is going to mean to you? Because I, I asked Booker T, you know, when he was in his first WrestleMania, what it, that was like, and did, was he able to soak in the moment? You have, you know, these memorable ring walks, you know, with your, your ring attire and your music and the fans get excited. But now it's happening in Las Vegas, sold out crowd, millions watching around the world on Showtime pay-per-view. Have you thought about what that's going to mean to you and, you know, do you have a little bit of a preview of what we can expect with your ring walk a little bit for September 30th? Oh, man, truthfully, I, 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 I have like personal artists in my mind that I would like to ring walk me out. But I'm, I'm you know, like I'm so dialed in, man, that I, it's been hard to even, you know, connect on that. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about my attire, what I'm aware. Um, um, I have a one of one custom piece made from uh, uh, from in, from Paris, Balenciaga made it. Um, we're talking like a six figure type of uh, outfit. And so I'm very excited about that. And um, that's pretty cool. You know, other than that, I'm, I, I haven't really got to what I'm going to ring walk. I know I got my boy Toby from A-Leaf. And why not put on a stage like that? Get, t keep the Texas thing going. You know, I know uh, Canelo going to have his big mariachi band, and that's cool. I mean, um, but, you know, I, I, if, if, I, if I stumble upon a, a, a larger global uh, artist that, that wants to wipe me out, maybe Chris Brown, that's one of my good friends. You know, we could come out with some heat. Um, he made me a song before, so it's, I mean, I don't know yet, man. I, I haven't really put my mind to it. It's getting closer, so I know I need to lock that in. But uh, I'm not in competition with the Terrence Crawford ring walk. I know that's what everybody's trying to get the answer to. That motherfucker came out with Eminem. That was some bad <laughs> shit. Like, I ain't on front. That's some cool <laughs> shit. That I, and, and, and it's going to be hard to beat that. He won. He win. That's not my world. We don't get paid for that anyways. But, uh, but I almost had, like, um, Lil Wayne or something. I had some people I've been in contact with. So uh, we shall see. Yeah, no, nah, that ring walk. Um, for me, um, I always say, you know, I was always nervous. I was always, you know, sweaty palms, you know, butterflies flying around. But I always let that nervous energy work for me every time. I, I could never make a mistake because I had that nervous energy yeah. working for me. Your ring walk, like you say, only a few get a chance to do what you do. You, you're like a gladiator. Uh, I'll be nervous every fight. You know, I've been nervous since I was younger. No, no lie. You know, this is not, this is my life I'm putting on the line. I want to get back and get out of there safe. So every, every fight I'm nervous. Um, I'm not one of those kind, I'm not shy. Um, Cause if I was shy, I wouldn't be able to get in the ring, you know, but uh, of course, you know, you want to make sure you do good. You want to perform right. You want to look good while you, you're fighting. You want to put it put all on the line and uh, make it, make adjustments through adversity. And, and that's the hardest part about, you know, the boxing is you don't, you don't never know. You never know what to expect out of this sport or what's going to happen. And some of the greatest fighters have lost. Some of the greatest fighters have won. And some, some the, the greatest fighters have won. So um, I'm amongst the Hall of Fames already. I'm in the top. Um, I'm just there to be great. Um, I'm going to be great. And that's it. You're already great. Yes, sir. On September 30th, if Jimmy Lennon were to say at the end of the fight and the new undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, and he says your name, what would that mean to you? What would that mean to your family? What would that mean to Houston? Um, it should show first me that you know, never stop believing. God is real. Um, it's already written for me. You know, so whatever happens, happens is, is already written. So I'm that that alone allows me to, you know, feel comfortable and happy no matter what the outcome is. Um, me let my family and the believers that do rock with the lines only know that uh, you know there's a change is coming. You know, and 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 there's always all with the old and with the new. And I'm, I'm an old head, and so if I if I accomplish this massive goal, it'll be hard to beat. And I was being a record book for a very, very long time, amongst the greatest in the, in the, in the world of boxing. And that's super exciting for me. Mm. I know you got to go, but I, I really want to know from you in, in, terms of, in, in, terms, in, terms, in terms of, you know, you are not just happy mm -hmm. to be at this stage. Mm -hmm. You belong here and you've proven it time and time again. But how much focused are you to be able to not only go out and compete against Canelo, but to beat him and say, all right, 
This is now the Jermel Charlo era officially put in a new weight class. I just got to stay hungry, you know, and um, and I've been hungry. And um, just to be in there, uh, you know, like a lot of people hyping up the, uh, you know, you fighting Canelo, you fighting Canelo. That's understood, you know. Um, I would have fought him years ago. It would have been a... It probably wouldn't have been at, at such a large magnitude because I'm undisputed. So I, I, I'm, I'm, like I said, it's already written. I, I worked my ass off in my division. He worked his ass off in his division. He made the right decisions, business moves, and and it, it's only, it's only here now. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I can't, I, I can't too much stay focused on but that I'm in a ring with Canelo. I, I'm hungry. I want to win. I want to win this fight for my city. I want to win this for my town, my children. I want to win. It's, I just want to keep working hard and everything that I put on the line. And, all this hard training that I did, I just want to get it out of it. I want to, I want to see what it's worth. I want to test myself. Bookie, you got one more for Jamel? Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much said it all. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the 30th. Yeah. Looking forward to um, watching you go out there and make history yeah. in grand fashion. And, um, you know. Be there. They can't be there. Tune in. Oh, yeah. Cop, cop it on pay-per-view. Uh, pay Showtime pay-per-view. Showtime pay-per-view. Pay-per-view.com. Come, come to the T-Mobile Arena. Check in with the Lions. We're going to be roaring. Let's go. <laughs> How much does that, Lions only, yeah. how much are you going to harness that as you prepare to step inside the ring against Canelo? Hey, there's only a few Lions that can make it. We, I'm, at the end of that, I'm at the end of that mountain. I'm ready to leap over and look and see what I got. Yeah, that's my land. That's my pasture. On I'm looking, behalf I'm of, looking at what's mine. On behalf of the WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, the undisputed super welterweight champion of the world, yeah. Shermel Charlo, Houston's finest. Also, I know your brother. Sweaty and uh, no, look, his, his shirt, <laughs> yeah. his shirt James. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, I, I respect, big respect to you, Booker. Big respect to you, Flores. I know y'all took your time out. Uh, shout out to everybody that uh, is tuning in right now. Hey, it's time. It's time. You heard it here from the champ. It's sure. time. Jermel Charlo, Canelo Alvarez, September 30th. Showtime pay-per-view, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time. T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Jermel Charlo ready to go. Booker T, are you ready? I almost just threw my shoulder down. But, yeah, I'm ready, man. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to be you. Good. <laughs> we'll talk to you later this week. We got Canelo Alvarez's workout. We'll see you. Jermel Charlo's workout in the books here from Houston. So long from H-Town.